For one man who's a human-powered recycling service in Salida, Colorado, getting in shape and going green aren't just a 30-day dare. They're a way of life. My name is Mark Shriver. I run a recycle business in Salada, Colorado. It's all uh, superhuman powered by bicycle. So yeah, I was inspired to do recycling because I uh, dislocated my shoulder at my wedding. I was doing a handstand, getting funky on the dance floor. So that put me out of a job, so I needed to get creative. I was out of work and I needed something to do because I was doing construction and so Using my shoulder a bunch didn't really make sense, but I could still ride my bike around. Bingo. So I started a bicycle powered recycling service with um, an eight foot trailer and, and some recycle bins. It just made sense to do it by bicycle instead of burning a bunch of gas to uh, recycle. I use an eight foot trailer just because I can put more recycling on it. You can double up, you can make it smaller. There's companies around the US that that make trailers either that are already pre-made or custom. Or you can make your own trailer using an aluminum ladder. The sky's the limit, pretty much. I only weigh 165 pounds, and my trailer can pull pretty much anything that I'm able to pull. And my bike isn't anything fancy. It's just an old mountain bike turned into a touring bike. Bicycle recycling is a really beneficial service for big families or for big businesses, small businesses that need pickup once a week. As a one-man operation, I can handle probably about uh, 75 to 100 clients. Yeah, with the whole fleet of riders, you could really uh, take over the world, help by uh, lowering emissions and really help the environment out. Recycling by bicycle, it is a lot more fun because I'm able to be outside in a beautiful area, I'm able to get some exercise, and as a bonus, I was able to make a little bit of extra money on the side. On a typical day, I'd be riding probably about 10 miles or so, pulling about 350 pounds of recycling per load. At first it was really hard, but then I started making better time and realizing that I was getting really good shape and my legs were getting stronger. and. You know, that's helping me cross train for other stuff and I'd go mountain bike riding and then I can come back and recycle and just kept getting stronger and stronger and eating more and more and, and it would just burn right off. When I started doing the math, I realized that uh, I've been doing about 6,500 pounds a month of recycling, which comes out to about 227,000 pounds of recycling today. Three years of space of cardboard in our landfill. It's such a good idea for our environment, for recycling, a model for business. Think what you could do if you had a couple people riding around a bigger town, you got more customers, you got businesses behind you, if you've got schools behind you, you can keep you know, millions of pounds of trash out of our landfills. Weather is always a really fun aspect, it keeps you on your toes, you know, high wind or uh, big snows, but nothing really to put me out too much. Recycling by bicycle is adding a lot more fun to the whole chore of recycling. I'm able to ride around, enjoy the day, and talk to all my friends and community along the way. I'm able to be outside and stay in great shape. I think it's so funny that all of that was born out of a handstand gone wrong. I mean, I just love seeing those types of stories. You know, often you can feel a little overwhelmed. There's so many problems in the world, but then you see a story like this of one person making a difference, keeping millions of pounds of trash out of landfills. It's right. kind of, you know, a fun, nice... It's refreshing. Right, right, exactly, refreshing story. <laughs> and of course, I'm thinking about this guy is getting in the best shape of his life and he's making a difference in the world, saving the environment. He just needs another, what, 25, 30 people and the town will be pristine. It'll be super clean. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> How about you? Maybe you should join. Uh, imagine doing that in New York City. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't think so. But instead of yeah. spin class, you know, you could right. be out with him. Instead cl of the bike messengers, just I gotta just change my bike up, put one of those contraptions exactly. on Exactly, I like it. All right. Well, we'll be right back with more on Outside Today. That's good. We